Happy lunchtime, everyone. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, welcome everyone. This is, we gather sometimes for uh, lunch or sometimes dinner throughout the year. Um, this is a special occasion that I found out about recently. Um, I know all of our, everyone on our team does a lot of work on keeping up with training, um, especially technicians in the shop. Got a lot of courses to take consistently. Um, to get certifications both with GM and ASE and uh, that really means a lot to, uh, to the dealership and to our customers that we serve because staying up to date on, on training is really important but recently I learned that um, one of our techs reached a milestone that only 15 technicians in the entire country have um, achieved and that's 20 consecutive years of GM world-class master technician so I um, want to take a minute to congratulate Ed and uh, Karen Salatino, our district service managers here with um, several other reps from GM. <laughs> We've got the whole yeah. regional office here today. But uh, it's, it's a rare occasion and something, you know, I know a lot of you uh, strive for and have done great things is not to belittle anyone's individual accomplishments, but Ed's been at this consistently for a very long time and it, it's no easy feat to keep up with that level of training for that long of a period of time. So. I want to welcome Karen, and uh, Karen, it's all yours. Thank Thanks. you, thank you, and thank you for hosting us today. As Leo said, I am the District Service Manager from General Motors. I do have some colleagues here with me today, so let me take a moment and introduce them. First, I have Joe DePoto, who is our District Manager of After Sales, Steve Pagluca, who is our Manager of After Sales, Pete Del Vecchio, our Zone Manager, Dave Finney, our Regional Service Manager, and we're very fortunate today to have Stephanie Gale, our regional director. So thank you for joining us today. But as Leo said, we are here for a very special reason today. We're here to honor Ed Carl. So Ed is a, a world-class technician. The world-class technician program started in 2002. So it's been 20 years. So he has been able to maintain that status for 20 years. It's a very elite group because there's only been, there's only 1,690 technicians um, in the world-class technician program in the country. Out of that, there's 242 in the Northeast region. And out of that, there's only 23 in Connecticut. So imagine just whittling that, whittling that, that down and 23 in Connecticut. But out of that, there's only 15 technicians in the country who've been able to maintain that status for the full 20 years. So Ed, congratulations on that achievement first. we'd like to celebrate. March 1st, he just celebrated 43 years with the Carl Chevrolet company. So that is another great accomplishment. <laughs> There's certainly some longevity here, because as you know, the Carl organization has been here since 1927. So that is 96 years. That's a very long time. There's a lot of times have changed, a lot of technology has changed, but one thing certainly hasn't changed, the need for our technicians. S technology has gone so far, so you can imagine and remember things from way back when, and now look at where we are today. Our vehicles are very complex, they're certainly well made, but yet we still need hardworking, dedicated technicians such as yourself. So just to show you what an elite group this is, I have a little demonstration that I'm gonna ask for some help. So, um, hold that for a second with your good hand. So, <laughs> if you can take one page of this, this is all of Ed's training for the whole 43 years. So maybe if you wanna go down that way. <laughs> there you go. This is all of Ed's training, whoops. We got it, we got it. For the whole 43 years of his career. Send a postcard. He's still going. Yeah, he's still going. I'm still going. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we made it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at all of this training that you have completed. Each of these pages has 25, 26 classes on it. So we just want to say congratulations, and on behalf of General Motors, on behalf of the Carl, Chev Carl Chevrolet organization, we want to say thank you for your hard work, your dedication, your time, 
please continue with your training and train those with you. Train all the other technicians with you and please encourage them to go on and also be world class, world class technicians. Now we also have another world class technician here that we'd like to honor who's also had the same accomplishment that you have of 20 years. We'd like you to walk over and join Gus as well. Gus is one of our field service technicians in the, Gen in the General Motors organization. So Gus, we say thank you to you as well. And thank you for all your hard work and dedication as a field service engineer. Thank you. Congratulations, Ed. Congratulations to you as well. And thank you. We have a few things for you. Thank you very much, and this is for you, and it has that our heavy emblem there for you. So, thank you again for all your hard work and time and dedication. Again, please keep going, train those other technicians with you, and keep going with your training, and thank you so much. This is an amazing accomplishment. You know, I, I look back and I look at my time. I'm actually a second generation technician. My dad was a mechanic for over 25 years. I was a technician for about four years. Realized I was not as good as I thought I was, so and worked in this side of it. Uh, but really, I know the dedication you have to do to do that type of thing. It's a, remarkable. Your, your commitment to maintaining a standard of, of knowledge of the technology that constantly changes is, is phenomenal. Technicians are the foundation of our industry. If we don't have good quality technicians, we're not going to be successful. So I want to say thank you to the bottom of my heart for you are the heart of the business. Thank you for what you're doing to help maintain and help taking care of our customers. Because without you, we cannot be successful. So thank you. Thanks, Karen and Dave. Appreciate the comments and taking the time to come. Uh, it's great to uh, recognize the work that technicians do every day. Um, on behalf of our customers. I think that's one thing, when I, when I looked at a piece of paper get stretched out for that long, I mean, a consumer has no idea of the amount of training that the technicians that work on their vehicles go through each and every day. And the difference between taking your vehicle to a GM dealership and getting that level of, of training and knowledge and expertise versus taking it to a gas station on a corner is it's just a remarkable difference. So while there's people that work as mechanics uh, that can do basic maintenance needs. The, the art of being a technician today is really a lot more about being uh, a research analyst, going through all sorts of charts and diagrams and electronic diagnosis and running scans and, and besides just turning wrenches. So it's a tremendous amount of work and the number of hours that went into that amount of training is, is almost incomprehensible. So uh, Ed, once again, congratulations. To all of our techs, thank you for all you do on behalf of our customers, and uh, let's enjoy some lunch. Thanks.